This is your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. I'm in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and I'm gonna take you to the two Hershey Park hotels. The first resort I'm gonna be showing you today is Hotel Hershey, which is the one that is closest to the park, and it is also the oldest one, too. It opened in 1933 and is part of the historical Hotels of America. Here's a little peek at the valet parking. We were here just for breakfast and to take a tour. Uh, we just used this self-parking. What a spectacular view. Hershey Park is located right down the hill, right across the street. Okay, you guys ready to go in? We're gonna go have breakfast too. So stick around, we're gonna see a lot in this video today and I hope you enjoy it and I hope it helps you make a better decision about which one of these resorts is best for you and your family. From the valet, you'll be walking into the grand lobby. It is beautiful, very stunning, and you get hit right in the face with some spring flowers. We were there in early March. It was still winter, so that was a welcoming treat for sure. The theming in here was quite interesting. I expected it to be more Victorian, which it was. The bottom floor definitely felt very Victorian. But once you go upstairs, it felt very like Spanish, Mediterranean, um, South American, early historical kind of feel to it. We'll be seeing more of the architecture and the design later on. But right now I'm taking you guys out for breakfast. This place is called The Circular and they have a buffet every morning and it is awesome. The Circular is also open for dinner from Wednesday through Sunday as well. The buffet was $28 a person and I thought it was a good value. It came with coffee and your choice of juice and the food was really, really good and there was a lot of choices. The people were super nice too. I was worried that this place would be stuffy or pretentious and it really wasn't. It was really nice and uh, they didn't make you feel hurried at all. They were very helpful. I don't know. I just loved the place. It had a great vibe. I'm getting so hungry watching this back though. <laughs> I'm currently fasting and on keto so I'm like watching this saying oh wow I can't have any of this. <laughs> no fruit, nothing. <laughs> It's a tough diet, but can't like eat like this all the time. Reading the reviews before I went, I heard some people complain about the price, but you know, I go to Vegas where you can't even get a coffee and a bagel for $28. So I was like, this is great. I thought it was a great value. I'm here visiting today with my husband, Kelly, who is helping me demonstrate all the different food options that you can choose from. Not interested in the food or the buffet just fast forward a little bit stick around because we're gonna be seeing the rest of the resort and then I'm gonna be taking you guys over to the Hershey Lodge after this both properties are awesome I loved my tour of both of them they just have a little bit different theming um, this one is obviously more historic it has a magical feel to it. It's very close to the park. Hershey Lodge is a little further, but not very far. That one most definitely feels like a big ski lodge or something. It kind of reminds me of Disney World's Wilderness Lodge. It has a really, really great atmosphere as well. Hershey Park also owns a campsite, which I did not see or film. Have you stayed at any of these resorts before? Share with me your experience in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. We personally did not stay here. We were staying at Hershey Suites, which is a blue green resort down the street. It really wasn't far. I have a full video of that. If you wanna see that as well, if you have a big party, that's like two bedrooms, two bathrooms, big suites. See here is where our table was located. Beautiful view. It was such a nice breakfast, totally worth it. Okay, now we got very stuffed bellies. We have some walking to do. We have to finish our tour of the very beautiful Hotel Hershey. I'll leave more information about the history of the Hotel Hershey in the description below. Love this mirror. <laughs> That's my style. My house looks like that. I have like all gold ornate mirrors everywhere. <laughs> There's a lot of nice seating areas I found in Hotel Hershey. My husband and I were spending a week here in Hershey. We had the timeshare, which is seven nights, and this is the longest that we've both been to Hershey. And even though it was winter time, there was surprisingly a lot to do and see. Love this place, it's totally special.
going to go explore and see if I could get a peek into any of these rooms. Here are some of the lounges and restaurants you could find at Hotel Hershey. Want something quick? They have a place for that as well. We're going to take a fast peek at the grounds. It was pretty cold this day. And then I'm going to take you guys over to the Hershey Lodge. All right, we're heading over to the Hershey Lodge now. What is there to do in Hershey? Well, there's the Hershey Park, you know. That wasn't open when we were there, but the Hershey Chocolate Factory was. In downtown, that little area there is so cute, and they have the history of Hershey there. Great museum, I would definitely do that. We also went to an automobile museum. I didn't think I would like that, but I really did. It was like three floors of all different makes and models of cars throughout history. It was awesome. But that's a whole different video. And I'm also gonna be making a video of all the places we dined while we were at our week's stay at Hershey. But right now, this is not about that. This is about the hotels at Hershey Park. And now we are at the Hershey Lodge. So much fun exploring new places. Love it. Uh, I feel both places are very friendly, but I think the Hershey Lodge would be more my choice if I was going there with little kids. There seemed to be more of a, a young kind of atmosphere here and more things that would appeal to children. I'm going to take you around to show you some of the places you could dine at the Hershey Lodge. Here is a look at Fire and Grain, which is open for breakfast and dinner, and they also have a happy hour from 4 to 6.
If you enjoy chocolate drinks of any kind or any kind of chocolate, Hershey is the place to come. It had a really good menu. The place was really fun and new. We had the fireplaces and the gathering tables. You could tell this is like a really hip place to come. We were here four o'clock for happy hour during the week, so we were seated right away. We didn't have any reservation. It wasn't a problem at all to get a table. I'm sure that could be quite different in the summertime when the park's open though. <laughs> My husband Kelly and I aren't drinking alcohol on this trip at all. We're trying, <laughs> we're trying a vacation without it. But we got the flatbreads, which were buy one get one free, and the happy hours. So that was a great deal. The dinner cost us like hardly anything. And we got some Hershey Kisses. Here's a peek into their signature steakhouse. I look at the lobby from the second floor and I'm gonna be taking you for a walk around the corridors to see if I could find any open rooms that I could peek into, but I didn't have any luck with that. But everything was new and modern. Everything looked nice and clean. One thing with the rooms that I found different than Hotel Hershey was I had inside and outside quarters. You could get a room that was more like a motel type of style room. Felt I should mention that because some people don't like it. I personally do. I feel like the loading and unloading of stuff, especially when you have little kids, is so much easier. It's also closer to the indoor pool water facility. So that concludes our tour of Hotel Hershey and Hershey Lodge. I hope this helps you make a better decision about what hotel would be best for you and your family. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you get over to Hershey Park, book that trip, pack your bags and go. Be well to yourself and be kind to others and safe travels to you.